three weeks into uh, potty training, housebreaking. I'm standing in my front door here. This 10 month old, well I'm going to say she's 11 months old now, German Shepherd. I had to housebreak her. She came here 10 months old. But I've had her for about three weeks. Actually, three weeks and two days. And I have been doing perimeter training with Ruby. And for all of you folks that don't know what that is, my perimeter training is designed so that a dog will not leave the yard. And she can go around the perimeter of the yard, but not leave the yard. And this is a test for her. The last two days she's been going in the yard and not leaving the yard. When I first got this dog, she would take off. And for anybody that knows that's chased a dog, for anybody that has chased a dog knows that that is something you don't want to be doing. And besides that, folks, dogs that take off when you open the front door, these are the dogs that get hit, they get hit by cars. Perimeter training, look, she's onto something. Let's see if she stays in her yard, and she did. Uh, bad dog, Ruby. And so, she peed and pooped. And really, now she should be just coming up to the front door to come in. But we'll let her do a little investigating. See what she does and test out my skills for perimeter training. Perimeter training, folks, is part of my 12, I mean, I'm sorry, part of my um, five week course. We have a five, eight, and 12 week course for dog training. Let's just see what she does here. I'm standing just inside of my screen door. I don't want to call her. I want her to come in when she's done. Yeah. <clears throat> But I also don't want her eating things that she shouldn't be eating out there. I try and keep the yard clean. And I shoo away any other dogs that come in the yard. Or people walking their dogs. It's important for you folks to know that dogs get sick from other dogs. So I try and tell all my clients. You know, I stress this point. Do not walk your dog to let them use the bathroom. Keep them in your yard and keep your yard clean. When you walk your dog, you should be working your dog. So she crosses the boundaries here. She hasn't done it yet. And she better not do it now. I'm speaking softly because I don't want her to hear me. I want her to stay within her parameters and to come up and come back in the house when she's done doing her business.
And folks, let's see what she does here. Okay, it's a little chilly out, so I'm just going to call her in. But you can see she has not left the yard. And technically she's still a puppy. And puppies get into stuff. All right, come on, Miss Ruby. Hey. Come on. Look at her. Come on, let's go. Come on, Ruby. Come on, Ruby. Let's go. Good girl.